Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial of Life After. In today's one, I will show you guys all the gifts that the NPCs give, the best items to gift them. So now, first of all, let's start with the first NPC because that's how I listed on my guide. So the first NPC is found right over here. If you go to this building, inside here you will find Crouch and you will find Enya. So if you talk to her, you can send a gift to her. I already have sent some gifts to her. And the best thing to gift her is, as you can see, egg tarts. These are egg tarts. And that is the best item to gift to her. If you gift food to NPCs, you will be able to gift only one. And that will count as one attempt for one day. If you choose to give a resource in a full stack, that will count as one attempt, just like that. So as you can see, I can give the aluminum plates and I can give the nylon cloth. Nylon cloth will give us 22k points of favorability. If I gift aluminum, it will give 38k, which is a lot. So you need about 80 to max out one NPC, which might be a lot. Total, there is 17 NPCs, so 12 in Hope 101 and 5 in Sandcastle. Anyways, I will gift Enya this egg tart and will give us 1k 250 points. So as you can see I have 15k if I gift one now it's 16k. So you can gift any food. Enya likes bread with jam too so you can gift that but everything is listed on this guide where you should be gifting to every of this NPC so as you can see and all the types of food. These meat skewers right over here for example crouch meat skewer I did not know what else to give them so the cheapest one is meat skewer. If you're a pay to win player you can of course just gift aluminum plates which is better and as you can see pay to win players can donate just aluminum plates screws, nylon cloth, and that's enough. But yeah, I will go through all the NPCs and show you guys where they're located. So now Enya, I will not gift her anything else. So this is where you find Enya. So next NPC is Tom, nylon cloth is his favorite. So if I send 30 nylon cloth, I will get 44k. And basically, as you can see, sending a stack of nylon cloth, which was 30, it used only one attempt. And I leveled up Tom two times. So now if I go to my notifications, private present. Hello, I'm Tom. You know you should dress properly if you want to visit Chosen City. And he gives you level 1 mod for maxing first. And then gives you level 2 mod. Then he will give you level 3 and then level 4. It happens the same with armor mods and with weapon mods. Moving on, next NPC you should donate is Vincent. He's located in the town hall of Hope 101. Right over here. If you go inside this town hall, he'll be right here. You just have to turn right and here's Winston. Talk to him, send gift. His favorite material is cypress leaves. You can send a hundred of cypress leaves and that will count as one. So a hundred cypress leaves, I don't know how much that will be but I think you will get a lot of points. If you of course don't have cypress leaves and you want to go for the cheapest method, you can just send a meat skewer and just send 10 meat skewers every day and that's gonna be 3.5k every day if you send meat skewers in green. You can make a meat skewer with one green meat and three common berries, which is extremely cheap. So that's how you can get those points up. But of course, if you want to have a faster way, you have to donate higher tier materials, such as aluminum plates and, you know, or just the best dishes, which they really like. Next NPC is Fernando, this one right over here. As you can see, I include what they give right here, the picture of the NPC and the best material to give right over here. Fernando is right over here, the same building where you just apply to a camp next to Billy. I did not bring a beast horn. This guy likes beast horns, as you can see, which is that. This is a beast horn. You can donate beast horns, 20 per stack. You get 180 points per one beast horn. You can also donate claws, beast tendons, and he will give you armor modification. Next NPC is Rachel. She's next to Fernando right over here. That's Rachel, as you can see. She gives you formula shards. Send gift, and I already have achieved some points with her. The best material to give her is cup of milk. As you can see, one cup of milk will get 1,250 points. Making cup of milks is pretty cheap, so all you need is just four milk. Just buy some cows, grow some cows in your base, and just use the four milk to make a cup of milk like this. And I'll just donate one, and as you can see, that's how much you get. Next NPC is Rapunzel. I don't know how you spell them. He's located by just going north, straight north, until you find this steak house. And that's Rapunzel right over here. Each NPC has 100k points, if you guys did not know yet. He likes mushroom udon noodles. You'll get some decent points for giving him that. As I said, if you want to go for the cheapest way, just donate meat skewers to every NPC. It will take you a while to max it out, but it still helps. So that gives you formula shards. Next is Hater. He's located in the market. In Hope 101 Market, which is right over here. 
it will be at the very corner and note guys to get this NPC to show up first you have to complete some quests on the quest board next to Rachel and he gives you formula shards too. Best to donate is Ektarts for Hater. Crouch, I do not know the favorite item for Crouch but as I said the cheapest one is meat skewers and the most expensive one you can donate either screws, aluminum alloys and nylon cloth. Nylon cloth isn't that expensive so you can go for nylon cloth or crouch if you want to. It gives formula shards too and that's it. Crouch is located in the same building as Enya. If you go here inside and turn left here you will find Crouch. Stephen is located in the same building as Rapunzel. The Steak House. If you go inside the Steak House you will find him right over here. I don't know his favorite material. Meat Skiver is probably the cheapest one and as I said you can go for aluminum. Looks like this guy loves aluminum. Most favorite material for Stephen is aluminum. If you gift a full stack of aluminum to him he will give you 77k points. So one aluminum alloy will give 2.5k which is a lot. So you can basically max him out pretty fast with this aluminum. Next up, Ivan. He gives you skill points and he's located in the weapon shop in Hope 101. And his favorite item is hard aluminum alloy once again. As you can see, if you send 30, you will get 77k. Now he gives you skill points, so I do not need skill points for this guy. I don't want to waste this aluminum alloy. But yeah, that's his most favorite item. Next is Judy. She's located at the same place where Vincent is in the town hall. She's right over here next to Chris and Vincent. And I don't think she has a favorite item so I'm just going for meat skewers. And Chris too, he's at the same place where Judy is and he gives you skill points. Chris also does not have a favorite item so I'll just go for meat skewers. You can of course go for hard aluminum alloy if you're impatient and you can max out basically all the NPCs within 3-4 days. And that's pretty much it guys for Hope 101 NPCs. All the NPCs that Hope 101 has. Now for demonstration. I'm just going to deposit 30 aluminum to Tom because he gives weapon mods and that's what I really need for myself so if I give 30 to him as you can see you and Tom reach an agreement on chit chat and now I have 83k out of 100k so when you reach 100k you will not be able to get more make sure you do not go overkill and don't donate over 100k because you will waste all the materials if you donate over 100k so calculate the points and make sure you get exactly 100k so now if i open my mail as you can see he sent me a level 3 mod and once i reach 100k points with him I will get a level 4 mod. So now I will show you all the NPCs in desert. Let's start from Sector because I'm the closest near him. Sector is located right over here in Sandcastle and if you have Sector boots which is fished from the pond here he will glow on the map for you. But yeah he's located right over here and once you max out Sector he will give you from level 1 to level 4 mods. So as you can see Sector loves meat skewers so the best item to give is meat skewers to him. He will max out pretty fast so you don't even need to rush this NPC. If you get the meat skewer to blue, I think he will go up to 1.2k per meat skewer. But green is the cheapest one, so I go for green meat skewers. So that's sector right over here. So Lina is located in the Santa headquarters. If you go right over here following my mouse and just going up this, you enter this building and talk to Lina. She will give you weapon mods as reward, as you can see. And her favorite food is fruit smoothie or whatever this thing is called but yeah I have a full list on how to make all these recipes so go check out that video I will link it description and the pinned post and of course it will appear on the right top corner of this video so yeah you can use this to max her out or you can use of course this 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 if you're impatient next NPC is Zenbi she's located in this building up top she will give you armor mods once you max her out her favorite food is the honey water. So this is made by basically just putting one honey and three ice cubes and you will get that. I'm not sure how much points it gives but probably like 500. Although it's best to just use meat skewers because honey is more worth than one green meat. So I just go for meat skewers or just use nylon cloth to max her out. So total up here in the Santa headquarters you can find four NPCs. Here you can find Lena, here you can find Zembi, here you can find Koitai, whatever he's called and here you can find Quintus, but this guy gives you skill points. His favorite food is milky crossing, so just three milk and one flour, 
and boom, he will basically give you up to 1k points maybe. Maybe less, I don't know, but his favorite is Milky Cross and once again I have food recipes on that so make sure you go check that out. Every resource works so don't worry guys. Quintus, he gives you skill points too as you can see which is this and the best material to donate is aluminum alloy. I think one aluminum will get him to like 2.5k points. They give skill points so they should be maxed out the last because you will need a lot of skill points for maxing out your skills on late game. Last NPC which I didn't show is Sextius. Yeah dude, really weird name. Come on 80s. You couldn't go with a better name but just Sextius? Like come on, what is this? Anyways, you can find him right over here in the very corner of the left side of the map. He gives you armor mods and I don't know his favorite food but I think Meat Skewer gives a lot of points for him. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section guys. So here's this Sex guy. He is located right over here. As you can see, signed to Commander. Once again, he gives you armor mods, so you should max him out because armor mods are really crucial in this game. So yeah, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Please leave some feedback in the comment section. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.